Hello everybody, Andrew Majeski here with Dental L. So I don't really have a script or anything. If you guys have watched my, my um, channel for a while now, you know I never have scripts, I don't take notes, none of that. So I apologize if this is kind of all over the place. But a lot of you have been asking about how my Dental L mobile hygiene business is going so far. And I know when I was first getting started, I had so many questions like, where do you buy your products? Do you just call the company? Does a rep have to come over? I don't have time for that. Can I just order from a catalog? Um, where are the cheaper products? Because money is tight and I don't want to have to spend, say, $20 more for a box of this if it's $20 less from somewhere else. Where do I get practice management software? How do I submit to insurance? Oh my goodness, you guys, I had so many questions. So I'm gonna answer some of them, some of the more, I guess, the bigger ones, um, because you might be wondering the same thing. So for starters, I looked into a small business loan because I knew that things would cost a lot, okay? My statum sterilizer alone was about $10,000. Um, I don't have $10,000. Do you have $10,000? I don't have $10,000. So I knew that I needed a small business loan. I had never applied for a loan before. I had always paid off my school myself. Um, I did take out small student lines of credit for like a couple thousand just to take the edge off, but that's different from an actual loan. So here, I set up like a business plan. I had like written everything down, looked up prices. I went to the bank and they kind of looked at me and said, you don't need any of this because the loan you want is so tiny that you'll just probably get it anyway. I was like, oh, okay. Um, Cause I had applied for a $30,000 loan. Apparently if it's $50,000 or more, they want the business plan. They want all of that. But with me, thankfully they didn't need all of that, but I gave it to them anyway. I said, can you just take this? Cause this took me forever to do. So they took it, probably didn't even look at it. The next thing that I looked into was getting a, um, a business account um, on my bank, my bank account. Like I wanted a separate business account so that any money that I make goes, it goes into there so that I can track it, you know, um, cause I do work as a, um, a dental hygienist still about two to three times a week. I have owned my own tutoring business since 2005. So there's a lot of money coming in, but I wanted kind of my own separate business one just to keep it organized. Well, guess what? Opening a business account costs money. Who knew? I didn't know that. Apparently, it costs a hundred dollars to set up. These things take freaking forever. I think I had like three appointments that I had to do with the bank, which I thought was crazy. I'm like, why can't I just do this online? But I guess that's not how things work. Um, so I got that set up finally, and I still have to pay per month for that. But anyways, it's nice to have it organized. And then I had a thought, I should have a business credit card too, so that any office expenses, equipment, stuff that I buy, I put on the business credit card. Again, it just helps to keep things easier and organized come tax time. Didn't think about that, but guess what? My credit card took like a month to come in, which is ridiculous. For, for me, for those of you guys who know me, when I think of something, I do it. I don't wait a year, I do it. Um, even I was talking to my mom the other day and she said, you know, you're the only person I know that thinks of something and, and literally gets it done like the week afterwards. As an example, we painted our house. Well, sorry, not we painted. I hired somebody to paint our house about a month ago. I thought about it. I wanted it done. I got the money together. There we go. My, 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 um, my mom said when they painted their house, it took them, you know, a couple months to think about it, a couple months to pick paint samples, a couple months to find somebody to paint the house. And then like a year later, it was all done. Yet for me, it took like two weeks. So I like things done, done quickly and fast, right? That means the same thing quickly and fast. Sorry. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyways, so when I ended up ordering my equipment, supplies, all of that, I didn't have my credit card in yet because as I said, it took freaking forever. So I just use our main credit card and then I will keep, or I, I did keep track of everything on a separate document so that I can claim that come tax time. 
I was talking to my accountant because if you buy used, that was my plan, you can't claim that. Not as much as you can if you buy new. So he suggested that I buy new so that I can claim that as a business expense. So that's what I did. Money, money, money. All in all, I was good with the, with the $30,000 small business loan. I bought a Statum, a compressor. Well, you know what? I talked about that in my other video, so we don't have to go through that. But um, anyways, so me just simply knowing, okay, where do I buy bibs from? Like I was a dental assistant before, but I never actually did the ordering. So I just went to one office where I, I, um, I work at. I happened to see like catalogs on the table. I thought, perfect. I took down some numbers and, and just started calling and said, hey, I'm, I'm opening up my own business. Can you come to my house and let's talk? I want to spend some money. And it was just so much easier to have them come to me so I don't have to travel anywhere. It was just nice because I figured for a dentist, they would travel to the dental office. How is this any different? I'm spending the same amount of money, so it just makes sense, right? So that was nice. Um, I talked to um, Maxil, I talked to Patterson. Those were the main ones because those were where I got a lot of my stuff from. Even looking into whitening systems. I wanted to try them before I bought, you know, a $300 whitening system, and that's like a minimum. They're expensive, but, and that was the hardest part because, when you look on the websites, you, you can't just call these people and, and say, hey, can I like order this? They want to meet you. They want to talk to you, which is, which is great. That's so nice. But I don't have time for that. So that was the hardest part was, yeah, where can, how can I just order? Can I just order, please? You know, oh, well, let's, let's set up a meeting. No, I don't have time to set up a meeting. I am seeing patients like next week. Can I just order something? Oh, okay. And the prices are never on the website. I mean, not usually, unless you have an account and sign in. To get an account, you have to meet with the rep. So it's like, I don't have time for that. But having that said, every rep that I met with has been amazing. And I am so happy that I did take the time to meet with them because you have questions, right? So it, that is the nice thing about it. Um, even like looking into things like air water syringe tips, shade guides. I had no idea how much things were. Oh my goodness. Shade guides are like 60 bucks. I'm like, really? But you'll want one, right? For the whitening because people love that. Expensive, 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 but I want the business to take off, right? So I don't mind. Um, what are some other things to kind of talk about for you guys? So, so I have been seeing patients, which is awesome. So far, I'm seeing about two patients in a day, which is awesome because you know what, you guys, it's my money. So it's great. I charge about $110, $150, depending on how long it's been for a full one hour cleaning with polish. Um, and for um, teeth whitening, I have a special on. Right now it is $90 this month and next month. So if you think about it, if I do somebody for a, a cleaning and whitening, that's about $200. I, I had to think about that. How sad is that? Um, it's about $200. And that's my money, not the dentist's money. And I'm making $45 from that. No. I, I'm able to get that full $200 and I don't have to pay for an office staff, a receptionist software, none of that. It's the most amazing thing ever. I don't suggest doing it though. Like right away, it's good to have experience because that has helped me. Oh my gosh, you guys so much. I can't even tell you even being a dental assistant first helped me with the ordering helped me know have an idea of what I really need, what I probably don't need, even though the rep is trying to tell me that I do need this. No, you don't. So that really helped me so much too. Um, but yeah, it's the most amazing thing ever. I love it. The hardest part, honestly, honestly, is just lugging things back and forth to the car. Um, if I'm seeing patients in town, 
my husband's nice enough to help me because he's not working right now. So that's, that's what he's doing is he's just lugging in and out for me, which is nice. It's heavy stuff and it's annoying with all the stuff I have to lug in and out. It's not bad, but honestly, you guys, that's the hardest part because by the time I'm done lugging it in somebody's house, I'm tired. And now I have to set everything up and then clean their teeth, right? So that's the hardest part. The easy part is just actually seeing the patient cleaning, whitening, the whole works. People ask me all the time, are you nervous? And I said, no, actually I'm not. I'm so excited. When I book a patient, I am just so happy. I can't wait. Just as I said, the hardest part is all of this stuff. So that's why I'm excited. Um, me and Tom have, um, we have thankfully a finished basement. He's actually using it, it now as like a man cave, but we are looking into me taking that over, having a business in the house too. So I will still go to people if they want, but they could also come to my house so I don't have to lug everything back and forth. So that's kind of something we're thinking about, but um, that will be in time because he has a lot of stuff down there. So it's not going to happen overnight. He's not as quick as I am. You know, he thinks of something, it takes him like a month to consider it. Month later, he might do it. I'm like right away. So I will keep you guys posted on that. So my office area might change a little bit in a couple months. We'll see. I kind of hope so, but we'll see. Um, let me thank you guys. Sorry. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to tell you. That's kind of the big thing. Exciting things are happening. I am so happy to be doing this. Costs a lot of money, but it will be amazing. And I love it. I love that I have had patience already. It's so exciting to have it be my money. And as I said, to not make like $45 from that and give the rest to the dentist, because it's my hard work, right? You're the one doing the hard work. So um, it's not easy. Um, it took me a lot of research, a lot of looking things up because there's nobody out there to really help you and hold your hand. Um, so it's all been a learning experience for me, but it's totally worth it. So thank you guys for watching. There will be some more videos. I will talk to you guys very, very soon.